Hey, 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 hey. I was about to say good morning because it's still light outside. Oh, yes, what is, a beautiful. I love spring and summer mm -hmm. just because of that. Hey, mighty Christian women. This is the Dunamis Woman Power Team's mm -hmm. book talk. Mm -hmm. And of course, we are talking to the one and only Pastor D. Some of you know her as Mama D, Dunamis D, the wonderful D. Um, and we are just excited to bring this book talk to you. We have been talking about how to pray with power on purpose. Many of you have the book. Many of you do not. Uh -huh. So if you do not have the book, we want you to get it and join this book talk. Mm -hmm. It is a uh, bit.ly backslash my free prayer book. I am so glad to see a lot of you jumping on. That's yeah. right. We're getting the rhythm yeah. on Wednesdays. I Welcome. I don't even have my glasses. Yes. I can see you see popping. them popping, popping, I see, popping. I see some names. That yes. I recognize. That yes. is it. So yes. we appreciate you. Mm -hmm. And this is an open dialogue. This yes. is about you. This is not us just sitting here on, on the couch mm -hmm. in our setting talking about this book. If you have any questions about prayer, yes. if you have any questions about how to pray with power on purpose in particular, come on and chat back. Mm -hmm. Come mm -hmm. on and give us your questions. Go if you have any book. comments, yes. grab your <laughs> book. Don't yes. be sitting up there. This is a quick read. It's a powerful read. This is something that I use. I have my Bible and then I also have this book. Mm -hmm. That's no joke. And we are on chapter two. It's the womb of a woman. And last week, and I say this every week because it is, last week was so <laughs> revelatory that to understand the purpose of our womb, mm -hmm. if you did not see it, it's mm -hmm. in below. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, just scroll on through. But I want to do a real quick recap with you. Go for you. it. Go for and it. And then we're just going to move forward with chapter mm -hmm. two. We're actually on page 19. So grab your books. Mm -hmm. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Pastor D. Do you think it's a quick read? I just, you think it's a quick I read? I think it's a quick read because it's easy to read. Okay. It's okay. user friendly. When I say quick okay. read, okay. it's user friendly. I don't mean, oh, you can just get yeah, through yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know no, what you no, mean. No. I know what you mean. No, just, yeah. just to clarify. Because it's hard for me to see it as a quick read because, mm -hmm. you know, I, I guess there's so much that stirs up in me. But go ahead. No, you no, no. I mean? yeah. So, no, I'm glad. Thank you. Because you was like, you, that's, that's, ain't she an artist? <laughs> you see how artists be acting? She's like, my masterpiece is a quick <laughs> read. You see, you hear that Maya Angelou in her voice? Darling. <laughs> Did you hear her? She straight artist me. She was, <laughs> I will never call this a quick read again. <laughs> She put me in my place. She was like, really? You think it's a quick read? Do you really? <laughs> Did you hear? Let me get my Oprah back. Let me get my life <laughs> right. Oh, my Oprah back. She just messed up my... Woo. I'm going to get my Michelle Obama back. Please do. <laughs> Michelle would have never said that. No, but that's what it's about, you all. We can laugh. We can talk. We're waiting on more women to come in. We want everyone mm -hmm. to experience this mm -hmm. book talk. And again, it is live and it is interactive. If you have anything... Yes anything and Giselle says I want to pray for power and for my family and she was just reading her book awesome. thank you thank you Come thank on. you now Giselle it ain't a quick read is it no no we're gonna yeah. find another phrase for go it. ahead just go ahead. Just quick read. you talked about mm -hmm. the womb with mm -hmm. such passion and mm -hmm. such depth last week mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I want to just do a recap and really just share with us briefly if you can the power we possess in our womb, both naturally and spiritually. Wow, I can't even imagine uh, what that power looks like if you really can look at it on the inside from a natural standpoint. I mean, let's just use our imagination for a woman to be able to conceive, mm -hmm. uh, carry life, um, go through the trimesters, go through the yes. process. Um, not only us going through the process, but let's look at what's going on inside. Life is formulating, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Uh, toes and, and arms and legs. But not only that, the inside of another human being mm -hmm. is being created while it's on the inside of you. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? Yes. The heart, the organs, you know. How much power do we really have within our being given by God to be able to have that hand, us to be able to handle that? Mm -hmm. You know, I think we take so much for granted because we... It, it, to us, it seems to come naturally. Yes, it does. But it's really spiritually. Mm -hmm. You know, it really is. And and to, get to to birth and to be able to have a human life within our 
inside mm -hmm. and carry it, not just be giving it here, take care of these kids. <clears throat> Here, uh, uh, cook for them. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. here, uh, comb their hair, take them to school. But, uh, I think with all the responsibilities that come with it afterwards, we lose sight of really what's taking place. Mm -hmm. And we as women, when we are naturally pregnant, you know, even they tell you at the first trimester, be very careful. Yes. Because yes. you're very much at risk for um, miscarrying, mm -hmm. you know. Well, all of those things that we experience and what is really taking place naturally it really is aligned the same way spiritually. Okay. You know, what has God really entrusted mm. within you spiritually? See, we lose sight of that because we can't see it and it's not a really spiritual, it's not a natural birth right, of the baby right, coming right. forth and we hold it in our hand mm -hmm. and putting baby magic on it and right, smelling right. it. You know, mm -hmm. he conceives us with stinking stuff. Mm. <laughs> you know, okay. He conceives us with things that need to be birthed to get into his presence. We, he conceives us with, with, with souls and hearts and minds that are now existing. They may be rusty feet and uh, a, a cold heart, you mm -hmm. know, and a cantankerous spirit and a stubborn soul. Mm -hmm. But the very thing that's in you, I want to still allow your womb to birth that. That's it. That's when you it. pray with power on purpose on behalf of that, that rusty, old, stinking, cantankerous, obstinate man. That's it. <laughs> Not as split that, that way. So in the spirit <laughs> realm, they're more, I would say, the challenge is more intense. It's, it, well, it's probably 50-50 equal naturally in spirit because you're birthed in that beautiful it's, baby, it's, 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 but it's one and the same. Well, if you saying? think about it, let, let's, mm -hmm. let's think about it this way. That same cantankerous, stubborn, honorary, obstinate, rusty man mm -hmm. was once someone's child. Yes. In her womb. In her womb. Yes, in her yes, womb. yes. In her womb. Okay. In her womb. He ain't changed. It's just manifested. You not you haven't. The stubbornness that's in you, it was in the womb. Mm -hmm. You know, who can I trust to get it back to the childlike faith? Who can I trust to get it back to the place of where I once conceived? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, I reminded of the song. I don't know if you all, if you remember, but anybody who's been in church basically a long time in my age group, if we used to sing this song, take me back, take me back, dear Lord, to the place where mm -hmm. I first receive you. Mm -hmm. And so that's very much like what it is. Lord, he wants to take us back to the very place where we were conceived. Okay. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yes, yes. You yes. know, to be able to have that childlike faith. So that dunamis is still in your womb. Mm. To be able to birth that spiritually, just like it was to birth that stubborn child naturally. Mm -hmm. You understand? So what the I'm dunamis saying? is still there, still ready to be used, still ripe for the picking. It is. That's it. It is. It is. It is. And 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 those are indicators. We just don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I can use my, 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 let me use my daughter, my youngest daughter, for an example. Naturally, she was hard. Ariel was hard to give birth. Mm -hmm. I mean, she wouldn't come down. It was like, you know, the doctor had to put his hand all the way up me to try to even reach her head. She was just stubborn. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I just knew it was a male child because she was so not doing anything to help me out. Compared to Allison, mm -hmm. Allison was like, mm -hmm, boom. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. Mm -hmm, boom. You know. That's the same way my kids are spiritually when I'm mm. praying for them. You know, I could go in and, and, and begin to travail and pray for Allison. Gotta give her a drink. Ooh, boop, she got it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Ariel, well, my, I don't know, no. Well, my, no. I gotta just shut up, bear down mm -hmm. in the Holy Ghost for her. Yes. You understand yes, what I'm yes. saying? Because that stubborn nature is the very thing spiritually I have to apply for her, the same thing I had to do naturally. That's it. Sometimes I don't even have to literally travail for Allison. All I got to do is speak to her and counsel her and, and, and talk to her. And she's like, Ma, I get it. And she is, God give her a dream and she done. She done. Right. You see what I'm saying? So Ariel, it is natural. So it, it is, is a natural. Spiritual. Yes. You know, I use the same strategies that I did in the natural birthing of both of them that I do spiritually. But they are still spiritually invested in my womb. Mm -hmm. I can't put them back up in their natural. Right. But spiritually, they'll never, they'll never go away. It's just how I want to be bothered with it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, Ariel, I'm like, Lord Jesus, I don't want to be bothered with this. You know, go mm -hmm. home and close your door, girl. Mm -hmm. Just go home mm -hmm. and close your mm -hmm. door. But I can't leave her out there like that. Right. 
You see what right. I'm saying? Same way it is. To everyone that God wants to give us that pregnancy, will you permit him? Yes. Will you permit him? It's different when it's your own child because you right. naturally love him. You, you know, and a lot of people abort their own kids. Mm. I ain't praying for them. But the reality of it is, what about if it's not your love? Mm. What if it's not your child? What if it's about that mother's son mm. that has been stubborn from day one? And now he's saying, Michelle, I'm entrusting you with the womb to be able to birth him spiritually. Mm -hmm. She did it naturally, but she don't know how to do it spiritually. So I got to send a dunamis woman like you, that stubborn nature. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to set you up that I'm going to give you his child. Mm. Because the very thing that you see in him is in your child. Mm. Mm. All you right, you want to go on with this? I say the, um, <laughs> this book talk is over. <laughs> real, real, real with you. <laughs> Thank you all for joining. No. no, but that's real though. That's honestly, that's real. And all of us as women, we need to hear that. All of us need to understand that because when we see our children, not only do we see ourselves, but we see that man. And that man was assigned to us for a reason. That seed hit that egg for a reason and brought forth this life. But that connection is not over. And you tell us that all the time. Yes, yes. You said something last week, and then we just go and go and go into the new. You said mm -hmm. our prayer time should be spent birthing men and women into the earth. Most of us believe our prayer time, now remind you, this is how to pray with power on purpose, should be spent telling God what to do. <laughs> or we spent we right. spending time telling God what we want to do. Yes. You know what I'm saying? What does that look like? That your prayer time is spent birthing. What does that even look like? Because that's foreign to a lot of us. Well, I, let me just say this if I hadn't said it before. This book and anything God gives me is based upon the kingdom. Mm. Okay? So if you don't really have an understanding, which many of us, a lot of us, a great deal of us don't. Okay? The kingdom is about the way you think. The kingdom is about a renewed mind. Mm -hmm. The kingdom is about sovereignty, royalty, the kingdom. So many of us have, all of us, shall I say, have a victimized mindset. Mm -hmm. But now the kingdom is saying, I'm going to change that mind. Mm -hmm. So the birthing process is through God permission to take and have his way to do what he got to do to change the mind. Mm -hmm. He don't change your will. But the thing is, he will rearrange stuff in your life for you to surrender your will mm -hmm. and your mind to be renewed. And he definitely needs us. Oh, he, <clears throat> and so we are his legal agents mm -hmm. in the earth. So we're not, we don't need to pray for stuff or our will be done. We got to get out of our head and get out of our heart. Get you know what I'm saying? Get, yeah, get into our hearts. Get out of your head. What do you think? What do you want? How it should be? Lord, mm. if you take them in, if you slay them, God. <laughs> Father God, I pray right now, God, show them your, his way, God. Yeah. Father God, you said vengeance is yours, said the Lord. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I, that, that, check your soul. That's not in the heart. That's from, that's from the heart. <laughs> now, ladies, that's from your pain. <laughs> I want y'all to say amen if you've ever done that before. If I could type amen, I would. <laughs> You know, you know. The, oh, that's the, real. The heart of it is, yes. Lord, forgive him. Mm. Ha, she, koro. The yeah, way he Lord. know not what he do. Father God, I pray right now, just as though it was the, the, the two thieves, mm. you know what I'm saying? And when he was up there, see, that is the kingdom heart. That's it. Father, forgive him, for he know not what he does. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God, I pray right now, God, that you will have your way. Mm -hmm. And then before you know it, if you step into your heart, your words going to become very little. Your groaning is going to become very much. And your moaning is going to become very great. And your wailing is going to become very manifest. Manifest. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. it. Yeah. It's an experience with God. You know what? I just want to welcome everybody who's new. <laughs> <laughs> this has been eye-opening. Every time we come, and that's the purpose of the book talk to you all. Mm -hmm. Because we can read this book all day long. But if we don't know your heart as the author mm -hmm. and if we don't know mm -hmm. how you know this is an opportunity for you to allow us to hear your mm -hmm. heart mm -hmm. why you wrote it mm -hmm. and what is it about praying that that is so needed and necessary mm -hmm. for dunamis women and that's why we're all here so this is book talk if you have any questions yeah. any comments yeah. write them in yeah. Giselle said earlier that mm -hmm. she is uh you know, her ex was put on her heart. We talked about that earlier yes. today. You know, and that's that birthing that we you've just been talking about. 
So I want to go to page 19. Mm -hmm. If you do not have your book, get it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get it. Like actually physically put yeah. it in your hand. Yeah. Look at it with me. Page yeah. 19. This is this was so amazing to me. You said mm -hmm. hearing the heart of a man or woman in your former situation should ignite your purpose and activate your dunamis power mm -hmm. for a life of prayer. Explain that because sometimes we forget. I don't like to. I don't like to remember all the time that I was one step from alcoholism. I'm so serious. I was one step from uh, yeah. a whole house. I was one step from uh, you know uh, tapping into the drug scene. Seriously, I'm not. I'm not BSing. I used to. I drink like a fish, smoke weed, and and I was out there bad, promiscuous, right, right, hoish. Right, 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 right. I don't like to remember all of that about myself. I want y'all to see me like I am. <laughs> real but your this convicted me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. here in the heart of somebody who was in my former situation why is that so important for that for that dunamis to activate in our life you know it's important because first of all you never forget where you came from mm -hmm, you know and okay. I think that we in the body of Christ we're ineffective in prayer because we have forgotten what God has brought us through Mm. He have, we have forgotten what he has taken us to, but we had to come from somewhere. You see what I'm saying? So it's a place of humility because I can look at a woman. Oh, I, I can use myself for an example. Oh my God, this is a true, true story. True, true story. I, I, I've been a, a, a victim of betrayal through mm. men that I love, husbands and one particular uh, husband <laughs> uh, and relationship that I had, it really hurt me because it was, you know, a friend of mine and it was a close person to my heart. And so I was very judgmental. Mm. You know what I'm saying? How can you do this? Mm. How, how, how can you do that? You know, I forgave up, but I was judgmental. Yeah. So as I continued my journey in God, I ended up in a sleeping with a man who was married. Mm. I said, oh, Jesus. <laughs> How did this happen? Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. It awakened me. Yes. It awakened me. Mm -hmm. And so it wasn't the adultery. It wasn't the fact that she slept with my husband. It was the fact that she was in pain. Mm. The very pain that she had is the very pain that I had. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So when I think of take my mind off the adultery, take my mind off the betrayal, and when I tap into the pain, how can I not pray for her when I got the same thing yes. going on? How can I think too highly of myself? That experience humbled me mm -hmm. to help me to also open my eyes and see that every woman is in pain. It don't matter if you promiscuous. It don't matter if you a hoe. It don't matter if you committed adultery. And, and a lot of those things we just got misconstrued anyway. So we just have a tendency to label somebody mm -hmm. and don't look at the root. Mm. The root. Now, am I a hoe? No. Okay? Not a ratchet hoe. I could be a dignified hoe mm -hmm. with the man that I love. I'm, I'm a hoe for real. Would you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, yeah. um, the hoe never will go. <laughs> Be told they don't want to leave. They be like, where the hell at? Oh, man, it, go, it ain't gonna go. You right. know what I'm saying? It's who I give it to. Yes, yes. You understand yes. what I'm saying? So the reality of it is, is that I can look more highly on myself mm. because you know what? This is this, this is that. But inside, we all have pain. So I had to experience that to be able to say, you know what, God, I'm not a whore either. I'm in pain. I had to, I looked at her differently mm -hmm. because now my heart of compassion yes, went out. I was yes. able to pray and to travail for her because it's what I wanted somebody to do for me. Not because she slept with him, because people misjudge you. Yes. See, it wasn't, it wasn't the adultery. It was me misjudging her. Mm -hmm. How many people do we misjudge? Because now that God delivered us, now that God has, you don't smoke no more. Why you can't look at somebody who smoke and understand? It ain't the cigarettes. It's the, what, it's, what was you covering up? Yes. What's the, what, what was pain you, what was, pain covering was you covering up when you took that cigarette, smoked that joint, mm -hmm. you know, slept with those men? Mm -hmm. Those are just the behaviors yeah. of the underlying root that will cause you to supplicate. And to travail on her behalf. And I admonish you all, particularly I keep saying this to women. And I say this to women because there's only two things that really grip our heart. And it's the man we love and the children we birth. Yes. It's, there's if, only if two you, things. Yes. It's only two things. Yes. So if it's not the man you love, start travailing for the child that you Come birth. Come on now. Because if she a daughter, she like you. Mm. 
Ooh, I got to watch my child. No, you ain't got to watch it. You got to start praying, praying for somebody for else. Her. Not her. Yeah. Pray for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Pray for another woman like yourself. Yes. Pray for another woman when God calls you to supplicate. When you see these things, mm -hmm. you ain't got to go, mm -hmm. oh, God, who I pray for. Just take a look. Mm. They all around you. It's women who just like you. Instead of looking at your bougie self and you you got it all together, mm -hmm. and, and all you do is drink ginger ale. Now it's only by the grace of God. You're not an alcoholic. Only by the grace only of by God. The grace only of God. by the grace so of God. So it's nothing wrong with alcohol, but it's under the pretense of what somebody take it mm -hmm. as. That's why the Bible said, "Don't be drunk with don't drink wine with excess." Mm -hmm. You know, because anything that takes away our mind, you know, is 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 where that pain is. I can pray for somebody. I I, I love shoes. Mm -hmm. I love clothes. You know, God has healed me in a lot of ways where I don't have to go and shop. But I know women, man, God, I can't get in the house because of clothes. That's an issue. It ain't mm -hmm. the clothes. It's, it's what the pain. Mm -hmm. What pain? Because the shopping and the spending money, the kingdom is suffering because the money going out into the stores, mm -hmm. not to the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Check this out. This is a practical question. <laughs> Check this out. Because, yes, it was only by the grace of God that oh, I'm not an alcoholic. Only by the grace, by the grace of God that, mm -hmm. you know, I was delivered and mm -hmm. set free from all of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't think that you can't go back to some things if mm -hmm. you can stay in that bougie mindset. But just for example, you you corrected me. I said, I'm going to pray for my daughter. But you said, no, pray for another woman. Oh, yeah. So does that mean that God is going to send me a woman who's dealing with what I have dealt with? Or will it just be someone, he says, I just need you to travail for her. He, 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 he ain't got to be no situation like got, alcoholism. It don't, it don't have to be a particular person. Okay. It, it, it's a particular situation. Mm -hmm. How many women are promiscuous out of their pain? You ain't got to know their name. It's a nation of them. Come on now. Whoa, so God. it's just when, so when, it, the, when the spirit uh, says, I need you to travail. If the spirit ain't got to say travail, go in intentionally. Okay. Start praying and then allow the Holy Spirit to take mm -hmm. what he wants you to go. Mm -hmm. Don't You ain't got to lead. See, you're trying to lead the Holy Spirit. That, and see, that's you why we're no, talking. No, but that's why we're talking. You know, because this, like, I ain't the only one with these questions. For real. <laughs> so, Give this, come on. Don't have a hot flash. Come on. Come on. Get yourself together. <laughs> but no, I'm talking about this because I'm not the only one. No. You don't no. know how many women lead the Holy Spirit. So, I want to be clear. So and I can get so up. many people trying to take the Holy Spirit by the hand. Come on, come Jesus. on, Holy come Spirit. on, Holy Ghost. I'm taking you where I want you to go. So if I see a situation or if I feel a situation in my heart, <laughs> now I gotta get right with this. Now I'm trying to be saved, and I'm trying. Well, let me to stop you so. right there. You you ain't gotta feel it. You ain't come gotta on. see it. Okay, so know. what's the situation? Look at the news. Look at the media. There you Use go. your common sense. There you go. Okay, we got young ladies out here, mm -hmm. uh, 12 and 13, who's promiscuous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, uh, shake on my high. I got you. Where is it going to take them? Mm -hmm. They might not make it like you. Yes, yes, It's yes, some real yes, pimps yes, out there. Yes, yes, it, They wasn't pimping like they pimping now. They trafficking. They yeah. trafficking. Mm -hmm. You ain't got it. Holy Spirit said, go there. I'm, I'll meet you there. Mm. I'm already there. So we ain't got to wait. That, that's the body. When, of, when, when we see it and it hits us in our core, in our heart. You ain't got to hit it in your heart. All you got to do is just think about it. Mm. Intentional prayer. Yeah. Prayer is intentional. Mm -hmm. Come on, we're going to prayer meeting. What are we praying about? Intentional. Think about your life. Just begin to cry out to God. Choose a situation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Choose yeah. a situation. It's enough out there. It's enough situations out there. I could think of it. That's why you say I will do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you could ever ask or think. All that you could ever imagine according to the power that's dunamis that work mm -hmm. inside of you. Oh, I, j I have a granddaughter and I can't even imagine her being caught for sex trafficking. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. Keep up, Jesus. Oh, God. Mm. Keep them all, God. I can just mm. think about all the 10-year-olds going to school. I can think about all the 12-year-olds when the mothers are not there. How can I? Just go there. That's it. Just go there. But we're so self-absorbed with our own thoughts. Yes. We're so self-absorbed yes. with our yes. own work. Yes. We're so self-absorbed with going to baby showers for 16-year-olds mm. and going to stuff that folks don't even have no clue of what they're doing. That's a travail right there. You think that stuff is cool? No. You know, we have conformed to this world. Yes, we have. In so many different we, don't ways. Wait so till it, don't many wait. Ways. Prayer is preventive. Say that one more time because many of us react. Prayer, we use prayer for intervention. Mm. Prayer is for prevention. Mm -hmm. Now you want to pray because something happened to your daughter. Oh, now exactly. you want to you call the prayer army. Oh, call the prayer line. Everybody something get on the prayer line. line. Something happened to my child. Something happened to my marriage. My child. Yes. Everybody pray. It's preventive. Yes. You don't pray and wait for something to happen. 
Use your mind. Use your imagination. But you just don't think it can come near you. Yes. The devil is a liar. Every lie. devil is a liar. Yeah. The devil is a liar. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Don't be selfish. You're just praying for yours. Pray yeah. for pray for all the kids. The that they out there amongst pedophiles. Mm -hmm. They out there amongst folks that you don't know. They have no clue. They don't know about this. But no, we don't, we flying everywhere and going everywhere. and doing. Take some time for God. Mm -hmm. That's intentional living. That's it. He ain't got to wake you up all the time. Mm -hmm. Wake yourself up. Mm -hmm. You might not feel it, but go in. I, I woke up the other morning. I'm like, I ain't feel like it. I went and closed my bathroom door, and I just began to stay there before God. And before and before you know it, my mind kicked in. And then before you know it, I begin to weep. And before you know it, I begin to travail because all I got to do is posture my body. Mm -hmm. Posture your body. Get up. He ain't coming to lay with you and cuddle you and rock you in the cradle of his no, arms. If you don't stop with the <laughs> spirituals, Jesus. <laughs> Come on, she gonna sing "Swing Low, Sweet Cherry" out in a minute. Help her out. Come on, come on. Now you get me to preach it on Come on now. This is no. This is how we get down at Dunamis One. Yeah, God. You're supposed to. Come yeah, on God. This. Yeah, God. Yes, Lord. Come on, God. Yes, Lord. Come on, God. Oh, if, if you just say, yeah, God, yeah. sometimes we just start praising him. You ain't got to have a situation. Just start praising him. Mm. Yeah, God. Yeah, God. And he, before you know it, the Holy Ghost will take over. He's just gone. Mm -hmm. Whew. Thank you. <laughs> I, are we clear? <laughs> <laughs> but this is so real. This is so needed. <laughs> yes. This is so necessary. Woo. Women, I need you to, if you have any questions, this is open dialogue. Mm -hmm. If you just joined us, open. Yeah, God. Yeah, God. Come on now. Yeah, if God. you have anything yeah, that you want to yeah, ask about side. prayer, yeah, if you have anything that you yeah, want to say about prayer, yeah, this is God. an open dialogue. Yeah, yeah, this God. is what this is about. This ain't no regular book mm -hmm. talk. Mm -hmm. This is mm -hmm. life talk. Yeah. It just so yeah. happened to be about yeah. a book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, now you can pray for bougie women. I, I just women to come together. It ain't got to be a situation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I pray for women. We too stiff neck. We too mm -hmm. bougie. We too this. You too sedity. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Break them spirits down in prayer. Mm -hmm. I mean, he can pregnant you with some bougie women. You know, break that stuff down because we got to get broken to go before God. Yeah, we really do. And that's why healing is so important. And healing is so important. Here, healing is just so to key. get in the face of God. Yeah, healing is necessary. But go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. No, no, no. We're good. We're now, page twenty-one. Y'all rock with me. This is this is this is it right here. You said rather one of the greatest obstacles in life every individual needs to overcome is living in the present life based on past experiences. Mm -hmm. Whether those experiences consist of pain or pleasure, we especially as women have a tendency mm -hmm. to continue to drive down the road called remember when. Just come on now. Remember when. Go ahead. Why we get stuck on remember when? Is a, if she ain't got no hymn, no inner, I promise you she got an 80s, 70s tune. Did you hear a question? Yeah. Why do we get stuck on memory lane, remember when? Why do we get stuck there? And how does that hinder us from praying with power on purpose? We get stuck there because that's all we know. That's all you can't know. You don't know mm -hmm. your future. So mm -hmm. you, you, you right here in the present. Today is only for a moment. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? How many years is behind you? Yeah. How many experiences is behind you? Mm -hmm. So this is where the Holy Spirit don't take you backwards. He take you forward. This is why remember when keeps you in control. Mm. You know, going to your future where you don't know releases your control. <laughs> why you look at me like that? <laughs> if y'all can see. Because <laughs> I'm learning something today. <laughs> Like that, pe that people say, you're going to learn something today. I'm learning something today. Yeah. And I want all of us to be transparent. Giselle just had something and I lost to Giselle, but I'm going to get back to you. I want all of us to get this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want all of us and, because and that's we get the trick stuck. Of, that's the trick of the enemy, you all. Mm -hmm. Satan does not know your future. He only knows your past because he's seen it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's seen it. You know what I mean? So he knows how to tick you off. He knows how to get you. He knows how to... Uh, take you there. He knows your triggers. He knows, he knows your ancestors triggers. He know your mama and your great grandmama mm -hmm. and he know all those things that's down your bloodline. But God has broken that curse and you're not living by that no more. So in the future, it's all about what God has for you. Mm -hmm. It's your Christ kingdom mandate. That's what he want to keep you from. He want to keep you from receiving the kingdom. Mm-hmm. What he has bestowed upon you. He want to hinder you. Kingdom is about life abundantly. Kingdom is about change. You'll never be the same. You're always going through the process of changing the kingdom. 
in the past. Have you ever met somebody uh, when you went to, uh, this is one crazy thing. Have you ever met somebody uh, and you remember them when they're in eighth grade? Mm. And then you start dating them because you remember them when they was in eighth Ooh. grade? Y'all 50 years old now. Right. <laughs> y'all 50. You think you ain't going to be the same. Not, not 50. 50. 50. 50 years old now. And you all you got is that eighth grade memory. Mm -hmm. So you dating him based upon that eighth grade memory. Mm. He is not the same person. Right. You know what I'm not saying? Even. You're you, not the same person. But that don't matter. You're not the same. But your memory. Mm -hmm. That's the remember that's, when. That's the remember when. So Satan is he, he, he's setting you up. We have one question. Mm -hmm. She says, how do I press past? The mm -hmm. remember when. Give us some strategies. How do we get past the remember when? Only way you're going to get past is, first of all, get healed and get the Holy Ghost. Two things. Healed and the Holy Ghost. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. Mm. Allow the Holy Spirit to guide you. You got to yield yourself to the Holy Spirit. See, many of us quench the Holy Spirit because we're still in our self. We're in our past. We're in that. And then, so even if you want to get past that, then you begin to supplicate. Mm. See, when I supplicate, it's also, particularly when the pain that, that hurts me. You know what I'm saying? Now I can supplicate like I told you for my granddaughter and think about what's going on or, or even all the kids, not just my mm -hmm, granddaughter. Mm -hmm. I think about all these kids out here. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So I can supplicate for them. That's that's a that's a that's a moaning and a groaning and, and that's a travail that's that's beyond um, my own thinking. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But now when I start supplicating for something that hit me from my past, you know what I'm saying? What it's doing is bringing me healing in the same time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? When I'm, when I'm travailing or I'm praying for a man's pain, but I know that that man's pain is this, is real because I experienced it with a man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I, and I got to keep using man because I, a woman don't touch my heart like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, you know? A woman don't touch my heart like that. So we came out of man. So if, if, even if I'm praying in that manner for man, any man with the pain, do you know it's bringing healing to my heart? I'm not praying for the situation. I'm praying for the healing. That prayer brings healing. That prayer brings healing. So we ain't got to read no self-help books on how to heal. No. You know, prayer. You, you have to confront your issues, though. Mm -hmm. Would you when need you, that? Because when you the, get off the floor and you get off your knees, you still have the responsibility mm -hmm. to confront your own issues. Because let me tell you something. When I'm praying, you know, for in that manner, God is revealing me to me, too. Yeah. He's re he's re not just revealing me to me about myself. This is why you're praying for him because this is this, this is breaking you too. Mm -hmm. This is breaking you too. This is causing you to humble yourself, and then I'm assigning you even the more. And I was like, okay, Lord, I got to get prepared for that because I'm scared. And that's where coaching I'm going yeah, to shift yeah, a little bit. But yeah, that's why yeah, coaching yeah, is so yeah, important. Yeah. That's why mm -hmm. spiritual coaching mm -hmm. in particular is so important because you're going to be used one oh, yeah. way or the other. God mm -hmm. is not going to exempt mm -hmm. you. Um, you're going to be used mm -hmm. and your, your, your vessel is here for his purpose. Mm -hmm. Whether you abort it or not, you still going to, he go, still going to come to you, still going to come to you because mm -hmm. it's a breaking that we all must have. Healing is important, mm -hmm. but that spiritual coaching is just as important because you got to know how. And, and then wait some time. Mm -hmm. I, I have, this is, this is real talk. You mm -hmm. all, I had a coaching session today with a young lady and matter of fact, she came into coaching as a result of the healing for my soul tour. So this is her second month. This is my second encounter with her. And I promise you, I could see the weight. Even she said it herself. Mm. The weight is off of her. The the where, which, What she looked like at that hill of my soul tour, mm. her countenance is totally the same. Wow. Now, I'm saying that because it was so funny. Because I said, honey, open us up in prayer. <gasps> Me? <laughs> Me? Open up in prayer. <sighs> what do I say? You know, what do I say? Now I lay me down to sleep. I said, baby, we ain't going to bed. Ooh, baby. I said, we ain't going to bed. I ain't bad. That's right. She's the same thing. My point is, yes. is that she don't even, the, because the weight is lifted off of her, mm. she's now preparing yeah. to even go into a prayer. She's becoming a praying woman, not a praying warrior, but yeah. a praying woman. One step. How could, if, if she couldn't do it with the weight off of her, can you imagine what she could do without the weight, yeah. with the weight on her? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So now God had to lift that weight. He had to allow that coaching to be able to see into her soul in preparation for her to become this praying woman. See, many of us want to become a wonder when we still mm -hmm. a blunder. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You got to work on yourself sometimes. Yeah. You got to work on you sometimes. You just can't come out the gate sometimes. Oh, let me come out here. If I want to go to be a nurse, I got to go prepare for nurses. Yes, yes. I can't just start sticking needles. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get arrested. The yes, same thing it is yes. in the natural as God is calling you. Mm. Now, you could pray, Lord, help me out, and Lord Jesus. But what I'm talking about is how to pray with power on purpose. That's it. That, that, that's, a, that's a different connotation of prayer. I know it's almost time for us to leave. This has been awesome, you all. Mm -hmm. And if it has been awesome for you, continue to rock with us every week. Uh, mm -hmm. this, is, um, this is powerful. And this is straight from the heart. And that's why it's important. Again, if you have any questions, talk to us. This is about you. This isn't about us. We just so happen to be here mm -hmm. answering questions. But on page 23, you said, as a result of living for Christ mm -hmm. on a daily basis, mm -hmm. your state of captivity mm -hmm. is strategically designed yeah. to guide you yeah. and to obtain a renewed mind. Mm -hmm. What all that means? <laughs> you said, what all that means? What all that is? Just think about it. I'm going to use it in this analogy. Mm-hmm. Sometimes God got to put somebody in prison to sit them down. Okay. They did not know how to handle life when they were free. So he had to allow them to be put in prison and taken to jail to sit them down to be able to deal with some things. Mm. I'm using that as a natural analogy of us spiritually. Mm. If God didn't hold you captive financially, you would never cry out to him. If he didn't hold you captive emotionally, mm. you would never cry out to him. He will take you and put you in a state of captivity. He even said, and uh, we missed this part in Ephesians 4, where it says, I give you the gift of apostle. I give you a gift of a prophet and a pastor. I give you a gift. That is to train the body up for the work of the ministry. But he also said in verse 10 that I hold them captive who are held captive. I place them in captivity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's deep, eh? Mm-hmm. So now those wow. who are captive, I'm putting you in captivity wow. and it's at that time I give you the gift of a pastor. I give you the gift of an apostle. I give you the gift of a prophet. Wow. I give you the gift of a teacher because you're ready to sit down and learn some mm. stuff now. You got to be held captive. See, we, we, we miss all that. We just go to the ones, oh, I'm a pastor. I need a gift of apostle to folks who held captive. Right, right. <laughs> Trust me on that one. Not only are they captive, but in their state of captive, being captive, they're put into captivity. Mm, ever the more. He needs us. So you can be trained. And that mind. So you can be trained. Yeah. Heck, some of the pastors are need to be trained. Yeah. Because they got into a gift too soon. Mm -hmm. They got into a gift without being healing. The giftings and callings is without repentance. But you better know your timing. That's why I tell people, oh, just because you got a gift, don't go into leadership too soon. Because you could be held captive in a, in a way that you ain't supposed to be held captive. You yeah, understand what I'm true. saying? So even in that case of what you're speaking about, now you're ready to sit down. I got to put you in a position. I got to put you in a state. I got to put you in a posture. And you know what? Some of us are captive and we've been put in a place of captivity and we still fight God. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> we still fight God. Because some of us have been put in a place of captivity and we just and we, sit out and and we, we and still we, ripping and running. We still going in debt. We still cursing God saying, why are you doing this to me? But really, he wants your attention. We still out there doing whatever emotionally, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. just emotional damage is being inflicted yeah. Yeah. because we don't know that we're in a state of captivity and we're still fighting. And if you, and, and, and if you would just sit yourself down and, 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 and I'm going to say this, and I want to apologize for every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher who really don't know the revelation of what I'm talking about because... Just because you go to a church and you listen to a sermon don't mean you've been pastored. Mm. Close the book on that. It, it don't. See, I, I, I even asked myself, I said, you know, I see people one-on-one. -on -one, mm -hmm. But I'm like, God, does it take all this? But it does take all that. Yeah, it does. It does. It's laboring. It, 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 it's laboring. Mm -hmm. You know, and even as God has moved me from an apostolic standpoint, that apostolic standpoint is not for me. It's for the people that I've been laboring with. See, apostle don't mean I'm an apostle because you just go and have a word. You can have a prophetic mantle. Apostle is one who, I don't, I don't want to start teaching on that, but they understand what the people need. Right. <laughs> Let me just put it Most that way. They, I, because a lot of this we haven't been accurately taught. So we just open up churches and say it's a pastor, but you can't call them. Mm -hmm. you, you, you can't you label them. Hours. You, yeah. you, you barely get off the hours. You barely get off the So 
But that's where you take your offering. That's where you take your investment. That's where you take your seed. Mm -hmm. Wherever you take your seed is where you take your need. Mm -hmm. That's it. That, uh, now Say you that one more. Say it clear on, on that. that. Wherever you take your seed is where you should take mm -hmm. your need. Yo, oh, I was doing sign language. <laughs> Say it one more time so the people can hear. Wherever and, and, and you, it's the truth. Wherever you take your seat. Wherever you pay your copay is where the that's physician it. is going. You ain't going to pay your copay to Dr. Mari and go and see Dr. Sally. Come on now. You ain't going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Your copay is to that physician. Your copay, the seed. Your copay is the seed. So wherever you sow your seed mm -hmm. is where you take your need. Now, if you can't take your need, but you got your seed, then that ain't my problem. Right. And you're not going to reap the benefits of the anointing that flows from here because this is not just the book. It's the book and you can do it, but the revelation of it comes from the impartation. That's it. This is why we have the book talk. That's it. And this is the impartation. Mm -hmm. This is the book talk. And that's honestly why we have it. It's not about us having this knowledge and keeping it to ourselves. Mm -hmm. It's not about us just giving you a book for free and say, hey, pay for shipping and handling. Yeah. How many authors, how many communities actually sit and teach based on what is what has been given not many and let me just say this to you see goes both ways mm -hmm. okay this book cost me to print it cost me to get designed it cost me so when i give it to you for free it's now considered a seed it is in your life because it wasn't a seed from the printer mm -mm. it wasn't a seed from the editor it wasn't the seed you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. from from that so just like the seed i'm i'm meeting the need just like your seed, you take your need. Yes. You see what I'm saying? So it's 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 a it's a blessing for me to mm -hmm. sow this seed to every dude and this woman who requested it because I know their need. That's it. Now where your seed is, is where you take your need. Yes. And that's it. I'm gonna reap my harvest. That's see, that's it. what people feel about. Why are you giving it for free? Because it's a seed. Mm -hmm. And the women need it. Yes. And, and only the Holy Spirit is going to bring me back my harvest of souls. Mm -hmm. It ain't about money. Souls. Women who want to sow their seed to where they need. This is bringing in souls. If you don't want it, some other woman does. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Yes, it is. So it, 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 it's not a gimmick. It's just, it's a seed. So for every seed that I sow, God going to bring me a harvest of souls. That's it. For the kingdom of God. And Jesus. That I may be able to coach them. That I may be able to lead them. That I may be able to personally guide them that I may be able to invest more that they may walk into their covenant wealth of what God has for them but the crust of everything is how to pray with power and purpose that's it that was a beautiful beautiful closing yeah. I don't need to say anything usually we have about five <laughs> or six closings but that was honestly yeah that was the best thing that we could do and we are going to mm -hmm. leave you with every Tuesday we mm -hmm. have a prayer webinar mm -hmm. powerful mm -hmm. pray how to pray produce and prosper if you have not been on it I admonish you to join us every Tuesday. So next Tuesday, 7 o'clock p.m. Uh, it's not in Mighty Christian Women. It's not live stream. You got to sign up for it. bit.ly backslash free prayer webinar. Yeah. This book is a seed. Mm -hmm. Sow a seed to another woman so if you already have woman. it. Yes. It's bit.ly my free mm -hmm. prayer book. Mm -hmm. I know a sister who bought 20 just for her nieces at one point. Yeah. Yeah. Sow a seed to another woman. Be a blessing to someone as as we are all blessings to one another, Pastor D. Because you're going to get the return of mm -hmm. your harvest of the seed because you're meeting a need. Whether they read it or not, whether they know what to do with it or not, you sold the seed. That's it. Yeah. Well, Pastor D, Dunamis D, mm -hmm. Mama D, Apostle D, all of the Ds. All of the Ds. All of the, the Ds. Mm -hmm. We thank you. <laughs> we thank you not only for your time. Mm -hmm. We thank you for your energy. We thank mm -hmm. you for allowing us to even talk. And interview you and hear your heart about mm -hmm. prayer. And most of all, we thank you for joining us. Yes. Continue to join us. Mm -hmm. We are going to be on chapter three next week. So read and it. so read it, read it, read it. If you haven't done chapter one and chapter two, read it now that you got the fresh revelation straight from the from the from the mouth of the author. So we thank you. We 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 just love you very much and mm -hmm. we pray that you stay connected mm -hmm. you all have a beautiful evening and we'll see you next week yes all right yes ah good night <laughs>